tied to the monster? Do you think I have a death wish or something? Death wish as in, gee, I wish I wasn't dead? It's the shoreline of Lake Va. I have to find a way to escape this damnable castle so that I can get over there and back to Pelly. Why don't you fly over there again? I know it's kind of far, but I think we could make it. For some reason, I can't fly over moving water. It must be part of the magic curse Shroudy placed on me. Curse, huh? Does the name of the so-called curse rhyme with... Zampire? the balcony where we search for the hidden key. Yeah, it's in one of those gargoyles. So let's go find that key. Nate hanging banner. It's the Von Kiefer family crest. A two-headed vulture holding some thigh bones. I can't make out the family motto. Fudzik? Get to pickin' while the pickin's are good. Words to live by. The tapestry is fairly loose. I'm not going to pull it down right now. But if I need it at some point, I'll remember that it's here. It's a rusty old sword. Ah, uh, that thing looks like it's in pretty bad shape. I bet it would fall apart if you tried to hit anything with it. It's so rusty. It will definitely shatter if I hit anything with it. But it may have other uses. I'll remember it's here. It's a bear rug. Is it just me, or are its eyes following us? I better not. I might not be able to bear the weight. I'm sorry, but I don't speak bear. It's some sort of ghoulish decoration. I wonder where the Baron has found such a thing. I'm not pulling on that long tongue of his. I can't decide how I should respond to that. I have so many options. And none of them clean. Let's just move on. It's a rather nasty-looking gargoyle. Is it me, or is he actually wearing a wig? It looks like you could use a shave. That's a pretty serious goatee he's sporting. Hello, Xer! Huh. Why won't he talk to us? Because we're beneath him. So he looks down on us? He's stuck up. He's up on his high horse. Okay, okay. Don't run the joke into the ground. anything I'm afraid sorry it looks like someone's family crest no way too heavy it's a fire it's what happens when you apply a significant amount of heat to combustible materials It's a couple of nasty-looking statues. I'm sure they must have scared the crap out of Shroudy when he was a little kid. Yes, I almost feel sorry for him. But then I remember that he kidnapped and imprisoned me. I understand how that might weaken your sympathies a bit. No way! 
Hey, too heavy. It's a bunch of windows. If I look through them, I can see the beautiful Draxylvanian Alps in the distance. Really? All I see is a hungry lake monster swimming around the castle looking up this way, then licking whatever passes for his lips. It's a rather beautiful piece of stained glass. Yeah, except for that huge freaking spider right in the middle of it. That's not part of the design. It just crawled up there a few minutes ago. Holy <laughs> cripes! Just kidding. I don't want to smash that. Funny. I used to hate spiders, but over the last year I've learned to like them. Stained glass. Too bad I will never see the sunlight pass through you. It's a lovely collection of vases. Uh, Mona? Those aren't vases. What do you mean? You see the names on them? Edgar von Trapper Keeper, Ferris von Bueller, Klaus von Kiefer. Vases generally don't have proper names or titles. Those are all of the Baroness's dead husbands. And all this time I thought they were just designer purple containers. She sure had a lot of unlucky husbands. Yeah, unlucky that they met her. Bula, Klaus, Edgar, and the rest. How are you vases feeling today? I might need that, but I can't carry it around with me. I'll keep it in mind. It's a crystal spray bottle filled with my favorite perfume, Emaciation by Cal Clevine. I'd better grab this. It's my body lotion. Oil of old age. The ingredients say made from 95% baby seal oil. Clubbed early for maximum freshness. Yikes! That sounds a little harsh. What's the other 5% made out of? Ground up kittens. Oh. No, just joking. I use all natural body lotion made from certified organic almond and sunflower oil, vegetable glycerin, certified organic infusions of nourishing and healing herbs, plus custom blended aroma therapy grade dried fruit oils. It's my body lotion. Oil. I better take this. I might need it at some point. I don't know what it is about this mirror, but I simply don't look like myself. You're pulling my wing, right? What do you mean? Sweetheart, it looks like Shroudy taped the picture over your mirror, probably because he didn't want you to see, or actually not see, your reflection. Apparently, he had some six-year-old kid draw the picture. Wait a minute. What does it say down in the corner? With love from Shroudy. Scratch the six-year-old kid idea. I guess I'll have to add art to my list of things that Shroudy sucks at. Maybe I'll put it just below escaping vampire hunters. <laughs> Tear this picture down, but I'm afraid of what I'll see underneath. You mean not see, right? It's Flodrick's gilded cage. Yeah, it seems I've spent my life behind bars. Up the river, doing some hard time. Hard time? What's so hard about living in the cozy cage with this steady diet of snacks? You love your cage, so stop trying to play the bad boy role. It doesn't suit you. There goes my street cred. His cage is already open. 
They are bags of Fodrick's snack food. A combination of dried fruits and oily nuts. Everything a growing bat needs. Sunflower seeds, almonds and peanuts, dried apricots and bananas, and a few leftover free-range grubs from the always important insect group. After we escape, we won't have time to stop and eat. So we better bring these along. It's my bed. Really? Because I thought your bed was down in the basement. You know, that pine box with dirt in the bottom that smells a bit like a corpse? Well, I like sleeping down there better because this room gets way, way too bright. I'm not tired right now. Besides, I rather enjoy staying up late. Although sometimes it makes me so tired, I end up sleeping the entire day away. Gee, I wonder why. Could it have anything to do with being a vampire? Vampire schmampire. It's just a simple curse, nothing more. It's a large bottle of perfume I used to refill my crystal spray bottle. It's a vase full of dead roses. Shroudy used to bring me flowers every week, but they were always pretty much the same. Roses? Dead. If I try to pick them up, they just fall apart. It's better to admire them from afar. It looks like one of those toys that you spin and then it makes the various animal noises. This animal noise toy just might come in handy. It's a hand-drawn picture. I think it's supposed to be Shroudy's mother. Picasso, he ain't. That's for sure. I don't collect art done by lunatics. Is there any other kind? It's a picture of some really weird-looking man. The picture frame says, From Jack the Gimper to my lovely Baroness. Man, that is one crazy-looking man. I hope we never run into that guy. With our luck, we'll probably end up meeting him. It's the dark, frigid waters of Lake Vag. Do people swim in it? Well, sometimes they float. Usually face down. Hello, Mr. Lake Monster. I think you are so good. It's a snow-covered planter box. The snow with some flower bulbs. Even with the snow gone, I doubt they'll grow. That dirt looks like it hasn't been refreshed in years. I feel like maybe we should say a few words or something. After all, these are the Baron's remains. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to say goodbye to the Baron Von Kiefer. And though he's already walked through the Valley of the Shadow of Death, today we must ask not what this planter box can do for him, but what he can do for this planter box. Ashes to ashes, so on and so forth, yada yada yada, now dump that sucker! Touching, Frederick. Truly touching. <laughs>